Hello YouTube. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Sharing Knowledge Video Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. Windows Security Center service cannot be started in Windows 10. The Security Center of Windows 10 is a very useful program that can inform you when there is a threat to your computer. However, have you ever been troubled by the issues Windows Security Center service cannot be started when you try to turn on Security Center service in the Action Center? If you have an error message, don't panic. We will show you four solutions to solve this problem. That is what we are going to do. So watch the video and subscribe channel. Okay, let's start. Let's start. Method number one, check Windows Security Center service is running or not. If the Windows Security Center service has stopped for some reason, you may want to check and start it again. Let's see. Open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R. Then type services.msc into the dialog box and hit enter to open a services panel. In the services panel, then scroll down the list of services until you find either Windows Security Service. Then right click on it and select the properties. In the properties box, from the startup type drop down menu, if it's disabled, select manual. Then click on the start button and then click on apply and click on ok. Next go to windows update. Then right click on it, select the properties. In the properties box from the startup type drop down menu, if it's disabled, select automatic. Then click on the start button and then click on apply and click on ok. Next find out security center, it's important. Then right click on it and select the properties. In the properties box from the startup type drop down menu, if it's disabled, select automatic delayed start. Then click on the start button and then click on apply and click on ok next find out microsoft defender antivirus service then right click on it and select properties in the properties box from the startup type drop down menu if it's disabled select automatic then click on the start button then click on apply and click on ok after this process now restart your PC, then Windows Security Center service will be enabled. You should be able to open Windows Security Center service on your PC. If this method does not work with you, follow the next method. Method number two, change Windows Security Center service value data in registry editor. Basically what it will do is it will change a value in the registry that is related to Windows Security Center service and the application will start working again on your computer. Then you can select automatic delay start if it's disabled from the security center on services.msc. Okay, let's see. Open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R and then type reg edit into the dialog box and hit enter to open the registry editor. On the registry editor, select HKEY local machine and expand it. Then select system and expand it. Then select current control set and expand it. Next select services and expand it. Then scroll down the list of under services until you find either WSC SVC, it's Windows Security Center service key name, WSC SVC, then click on it. Next go to right pan and then right click on the key named start and select modify. If it's value data 0 or 4, then change its value data as 2 and click on OK. Close the registry editor and reboot your PC to take effect. Then you can select automatic delayed start if it's disabled from the security center on services.msc. Then you can enable the Windows security center service on your computer. This method does not work with you. Follow the next method. Method number three, check Windows management instrumentation and remote procedure call RPC services is running or not. If this services is stopped, most Windows based software will not function properly. If this services is disabled, any services that explicitly depend on it will fail to start. It is strongly recommended that you have the service running. Okay, let's see. Open the run dialog box by pressing Windows logo key plus R. Then type services.msc into the dialog box and hit enter to open a services panel. 
on the services panel then scroll down the list of services until you find either windows management instrumentation then right click on it and then click on properties in the properties box on the general tab from the startup type drop down menu if it's disabled select automatic then click on start button <coughs> then click on the start button and then click on apply and click on ok next to find out remote procedure call rpc and then right click on it and select the properties in the properties box on the general tab from the startup type drop down menu if it's disabled select automatic then click on the start button and then click on apply and then click on okay after this process now try reboot the pc to check whether the issue windows security center service cannot be started has been solved or not if this method does not work with you follow the next method method number 4 run sfc scan using command prompt if you think the issue has been caused by the corrupted system file then you should consider using sfc scan to scan the system files and fix any corrupted files on your pc let's see how to run sfc scan open the search box by pressing windows logo key plus s and then type cmd in the search box in the search results you will see command prompt then right click on it and then select run as administrator it will open command prompt window in the command prompt window type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter now starting the scanning process this process will take some time please don't exit the command line window until you receive the message verification under percentage complete it will scan and fix any corrupted files on your computer when the process is finished you can exit the window it will result in you being successful at launching windows security center service on your machine now you start your pc you are done i hope this video helped for you thanks for watching and supporting if you have any issues so please let me know in the comment section below your contribution is more confidence please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more useful videos once again thanks for watching and supporting see you next video bye take care